The electric vehicle bubble minus Tesla has started to burst. This comes from Jim Cramer. He's the actual business investment uh, stock market guy. It's not you. I hate to break it to you. Well, yeah, spoiler alert. Yeah, it's not you. I know I've been telling you that. I've been trying to uh, pump you up for the, over the past few episodes. But now I got to be honest with you. It's this guy because he's got the dress shirt and he rolls up the sleeves. And he's in New York, I presume. And so if you... I mean, there are a few things you could do to improve your your uh, business uh, pr appeal. You could have an outfit like this guy. You scroll down, you'll see his outfit. Oh. Yeah, you see? That's it, him? Yeah, if you did this, okay. then it's yeah. like he's like the he's like the tech expert kind of guy on YouTube, okay. except on TV and for the stock market. Oh, Jim Cramer. But he's actually it's actually pretty entertaining. I don't know. I'll look at it every so often, but it's so hard to know what to believe. Like in the stock market, it's a lot like tech. There's a lot of hype, and it's hard to know what to invest in. That's sort of where this this falls, but. Obviously, recently, a lot of the hype has been around electric vehicles, particularly Tesla. Tesla, what, $1,500 for the stock, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Tremendous interest in Tesla. And Tesla, for their part, they came out and announced profits that people didn't expect. And they announced deliveries that people didn't expect. So they have a little bit more reality behind their numbers, although there are many people that still will tell you that the stock price is too high. Mm. But this particular article is actually targeting all the other electric vehicle companies and it's for me it's some sort of it feels like a mirror of bitcoin and altcoins tesla is the bitcoin of electric vehicles mm. and all the other upstarts are the altcoins mm. including ones that we've covered on the show like lordstown which recently they were acquired in a reverse takeover <laughs> by a company called diamond peak and then there's others that are on this list as well, like Nikola. You remember we covered Nikola? Oh, yeah. They were going to do a truck as well. These companies have massive multi-billion dollar valuations, and they might not necessarily have the sales figures to support those types of evaluations. They got a big hype meter on them. And so some people want to check them. They want to say, hey, hey, we got to be more realistic here. We can't have this many players in this space, can we? And it's true, where there is hype, you got to wonder how much of it is hype. Anytime hype appears, you got to do the, uh, the the filtration process. Yes. You got to uh, separate the, the wheat from the chaff. Hmm. I believe that's how you say that. Okay. Although I've never done such a thing. I'll hold you to it. I've never been on, in, you know, in the agricultural scene. But that's an old, no, wheat from the chaff. Wheat that's, from the chaff. Yeah, wheat from the chaff. I don't think you want the chaff. You just want the wheat. Let's, let's just verify this. <laughs> Separate the wheat from the chaff. Sort the valuable from the worthless. There you go. Yeah, that was a risky one. Could have gone either way. I know. We could have been dead. Anyways, you got to figure out where the real value is and... and uh, and who are going to be the true winners? Because it's a lot of players right now. We got the Chinese electric vehicle brands coming with the low price points. We got a billion players trying to sell you trucks. And we got the originator that really pushed the entire marketplace forward in Tesla. And uh, they, they appear to be for real. Mm -hmm.